Hello, my travel darlings. Welcome to the beating heart of the travel industry, Amadeus. Amadeus is like the Beyonce of travel tech, powerful and essential. Sometimes things can get a bit dramatic, but fear not, we'll unlock the secrets to taming Amadeus errors. We'll turn those travel agent frowns upside down. Whether you're new or experienced, this video's got something for everyone. So buckle up, grab your boarding passes, and let's get this show on the road. Right then, let's talk about those moments when Amadeus seems to have gone on holiday without telling you. You know, when you're staring at the screen, searching for availability, and it's like looking into an empty fridge, absolutely nothing. First things first, my little travel sleuths, let's check the basics. Is the date right? Are the city pairs correct? And what about the class of service? Next, let's have a peek at your syntax. Any rogue spaces or typos? Those little devils can bring the whole system crashing down. This next error is a classic. You've got your client on the line and bam, PNR retrieval error makes you want to book a one-way ticket to a remote island. But hold on, my travel angels. Double check that PNR locator. It's like forgetting your passport at security. Give that PNR code a good once over. Those numbers can blur together after a long day. Ah, time, that relentless, unforgiving beast that waits for no travel agent, no matter how charming, and when it comes to Amadeus, time can be your best friend or your worst enemy. You see, my dears, PNRs have a bit of a shelf life. Leave them unattended for too long and they'll vanish faster than a first-class upgrade on a full flight. Now picture this, you're at the hottest Amadeus disco in town, ready to boogie with those bookings. But wait, you've accidentally joined the conga line for cancelled flights instead of the waltz for confirmed reservations. Disaster, darling. Absolute disaster. To avoid such a faux pas, let's have a quick chat about those all-important queue and category numbers. Remember, precision is key here, my little travel ninjas. One wrong digit and you'll be lost in a sea of misplaced PNRs. We've all been there, darlings. You're so close to sealing the deal, fingers hovering over the keyboard, and then BAM! Segment, cell, failure. It's like that awkward moment when you realize your favorite shoes are out of stock in your size. But before you throw in the towel and book your client on a donkey ride instead of a flight, let's take a deep breath and channel our inner Zen masters. First things first, have we checked the seat availability? Remember, Amadeus has a bit of a thing about overbooking. Now let's talk about those special requests. You know, the ones that make traveling a little easier, a little more comfortable, a little less beige. But beware, my dears, because Amadeus can be a bit of a stickler for the rules when it comes to SSRs. To avoid any embarrassing rejections, let's make sure we're speaking Amadeus's language. That means using the correct SSR codes and providing all the necessary details, no matter how small. Uh, modifications, those little adjustments that can turn a simple booking into a game of travel twister. One minute you're feeling smug about securing that window seat, the next you're tangled in a web of restrictions and limitations. But fear not, my travel warriors, because knowledge is power. Before we start making any changes, let's take a moment to understand the rules of engagement. Each PNR has its own set of quirks, so it pays to be in the know. Ah, the waitlist. That purgatory of travel uncertainty where hope springs eternal and patience is tested to its limits. It's a bit like waiting for a bus that may or may not arrive. But fear not, my fellow travellers in limbo, because we're not going to let those waitlisted segments languish in obscurity. Oh no, we're going to be proactive, we're going to be vigilant, we're going to be like those annoyingly organised people who colour code their sock drawers. Let's talk about names, shall we? They're the badges we wear in the game of life. But with Amadeus, names can be frustrating. Amadeus has a thing about formats. Mix up names, add a rogue space or umlaut, and you'll face errors. Let's be extra vigilant with passenger names. Imagine, if you will, a queue so long, so unwieldy, so utterly chaotic that it would make even the most patient travel agent weep. But fear not, my fellow guardians of the travel galaxy, because we're not going to let those queues spiral out of control. We're going to be organized and efficient. 
our secret weapon, the mighty QCA or Q Count and Access Command. Right, let's talk about money, honey. When Amadeus has a mathematical meltdown, you might feel like you're in a calculus class. Let's channel our inner Sherlock Holmes and double-check that fair basis and routing. Is it a round trip, one way or multi-city? And don't forget those pesky fair rules. Oh, the dreaded no valid fare found message. It's enough to make even the most seasoned travel agent want to chuck their computer out the window and run off to join the circus. But before you start practicing your trapeze skills, let's take a deep breath and see if we can reason with Amadeus. First things first, let's grab our magnifying glasses and give those fair rules a good once over. The FQN command is our friend here, revealing all those hidden restrictions and requirements. Tick tock, tick tock. The clock is ticking, my friends, and those ticketing time limits are no joke. Miss the deadline, and you'll be facing those dreaded penalties faster than you can say rebooking fee. But fear not, my fellow time travelers, because we're not going to let those tickets expire on our watch. Oh no, we're going to be organized, we're going to be efficient, we're going to be like those annoyingly punctual people who show up to parties 15 minutes early. Our secret weapon, the trusty TL command. Ah, the joys of e-tickets. No more paper cuts, no more lost tickets, no more frantic rummaging through handbags at airport security. But wait, what's this? An e-ticket issuance error? It's like that moment when you realize you've left your phone at home. A minor inconvenience with the potential to derail your entire day. But fear not, my digital divas, because we're not going to let a few technical glitches stand in our way. First things first. Let's channel our inner tech support gurus and double check those mandatory fields. Picture this, you're booking flights with confidence. When suddenly a fair rule violation sign flashes, it's like getting pulled over, you know something's wrong. But fear not, we're not letting fair rules stop us. Let's decipher those cryptic messages. The FQN command reveals hidden clauses. Ah, EMDs, uh, those are little electronic vouchers that make ancillary revenue a breeze, but what happens when those EMDs decide to play hide and seek? It's like that moment when you reach for your wallet and realize you've left your credit card at home. A minor panic attack waiting to happen, but fear not, my fellow revenue generators, because we're not going to let a few electronic money gremlins stand in our way. First things first, let's double check that EMD service fee code. Reissues and exchanges, those two little words that can strike fear into the heart of even the most seasoned travel agent. It's like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube while riding a unicycle. A test of patience, skill and perhaps a touch of insanity. But fear not, my fellow travel jugglers, because we're not going to let those reissue exchange errors get the best of us. First things first, let's grab our calculators and channel our inner mathematicians. Voiding tickets. It sounds simple enough, doesn't it? Just a, a few keystrokes and poof, those tickets vanish into thin air. But what happens when those tickets refuse to disappear? It's like trying to erase a permanent marker stain, a frustrating and messy affair. But fear not, my fellow ticket tamers, because we're not going to let those void ticket failures get the better of us. First things first, let's make sure we're operating within the allotted time frame. Refunds, those beautiful elusive creatures that can turn a travel agent's frown upside down. But what happens when those refunds decide to play hard to get? It's like trying to navigate a labyrinth with no map and a faulty compass, a recipe for frustration and despair. But fear not, my fellow refund wranglers, because we're not going to let those refund processing errors stand in our way. First things first, let's grab our trusty TRF command and initiate those refunds with confidence. group travel. It's a beautiful thing bringing together friends, families and perhaps even a few strangers for shared adventures. But when it comes to pricing those group bookings in Amadeus, things can get a little, shall we say, interesting. You see, my fellow travel organizers, Amadeus has a bit of a knack for throwing curveballs when it comes to multi-passenger pricing. One minute you're basking in the glow of a perfectly calculated fare, the next you're scratching your head, wondering why those 
passenger types seem to have multiplied like rabbits. And there you have it, my travel superstars. We've journeyed through Amadeus errors from availability glitches to ticketing timeouts. Remember, knowledge is power. With these tips, you'll navigate like a pro. Practice makes perfect, darling. The more you practice, the easier it gets. Before you go, hit that subscribe button for more tips, tricks and laughs.